Thanks for joining us for another DK Custom Products video. My name is Kevin. Dwayne's behind the camera. And today we're going to do an installation of the FB16. So the FB16 stands for Floorboard 16 Different Positions. This is for the passenger floorboard on touring bikes and trikes and it gives you up to 16 different positions. We're going to put a video up here talking about all the benefits of the FB16, but today we're going to be doing an installation of it. So they come in a package like this, and we have the hardware that comes with it, and the instructions, and then we have the actual FB16s. I've been running the FB16s on my trike for a year or two, and they were prototypes, they weren't powder coated. So I'm finally putting some powder coated ones onto my trike. These are 6061 billet aluminum, and you can see all these are threaded. And then these are recessed, and you can see that this is marked DK, and there's no marking on this one at all. When we get to the directions, you'll see why. So let's look at the directions real quick, and then we're going to get into it on the bike. So you see on the instructions, this fat passenger floorboard extensions for 2009 and up touring models. The trike is a touring model. And so it fits the trikes also. And you get two floorboard extensions. And then you get four bolts. There are two different possible mounting styles for your OEM floorboard. One with two bolts, which is what I have here. But then some of the older models, 09 through I think 14 or 15, have one bolt and a pin. And when we get there, I'll show you what the uh, pin is. So there's two different instructions, one for the two bolt style and one for the single bolt and pin mounting style. So the first step is to remove the factory floorboard bracket from the frame here. You can see there's an Allen fastener here and an Allen fastener there. So the first step in installing the FB16 is we're going to remove the floorboard bracket from the frame. It's held in on this bike by two fasteners. One, the top one is a 5 16 Allen, the bottom one's a quarter inch Allen. On some models, the bottom one is a pin and just there's just a bolt at the top. So, but on this one, we're going to remove the uh, top and the bottom. And so, Let's get that done. And normally this, on some bikes, that would be a pin rather than a bolt. So then you can see why the pin works is this just slides and it's adjustable. So this always, whether you have a pin or a bolt, it always goes in the bottom hole and then you can slide the floorboard up or down and have the bolt go either here, here or here if you wanted it to be lower right? So you already have adjustability with your factory setup, but you don't have any forward adjustability, rearward adjustability, or outward adjustability. And what, what this does is it gives you the ability to move the floorboard forward 3 8 back 3 8 and up and down even more than the factory one lets you. So let's just take a quick look at the instructions here. 
there's a left and right bracket in this kit. Which one goes on which side depends on if you would like your passenger floorboard 3 8 forward from the factory location or 3 8 rearward. The extension with the DK engraved on it will go on the right side if you would like it forward or on the left side if you would like it rearward. Well, Mary has fairly long legs, so we want the floorboard forward. So we're going to use the DK on this side, not on the left side where it would be moving everything rearward. Instead of mounting the floorboard directly to here, the floorboard is going to mount to here and this is going to be mounted to here. So you need to mount this first. Now, when we say that there are 16 different positions, it's up to 16 different positions. On some bikes, they have larger side covers, and so you don't get all 16 of the positions uh, available to you. You notice these scratches? Yeah. That's from when we were prototyping this and we mounted it too high, and we mounted it at the top position, the bracket was too close to here so that when I went to pull this off, it scratched on here. And of course, it scratched even more because I was running non-powder coated, which had a really sharp billet aluminum edge. The powder coating makes it a little bit more so it doesn't scratch as much. But you're not gonna be able to use the top most position on a later model Triglide or some of the CVOs that have bigger covers. You just want to make sure that you're leaving enough space so that you can get your cover off without hitting this. So we have these four holes that can be used with any of these bolt holes or even with the shoulder bolt, okay? They go through here, they go into there, and then we have the threaded piece that the floorboard goes on. Now I could put it all the way up here on some models that don't have the side cover that stick out as far. But with this bike, I don't want to go higher than that. So I'm going to use this as my top hole that goes into here. And then I'll use this one and I'll put it into there. So we take two of the bolts that came with it. These are the bolts that go into here and into here. And we're going to tighten those down right onto here like that. So determining that I can go this high. So that means my floorboard, my passenger floorboard is going to be higher than factory. And then it's also going to be three-eighths of an inch further forward. Obviously, I could put it lower, which you would think Mary with long legs would want it lower. But remember, it's going to be an inch further out, which gives her a little bit more room for legs, and three-eighths of an inch forward. And I played around with different levels, and this is the one she likes, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to put thread locker on these bolts. And they go in here. And you can see I still have clearance for my cover there. And these should be tightened down to 36 to 42 foot pounds. And um, we have this set to 38 foot pounds. And that easy, we have the bracket installed. Now all we need to do is install this here, and I can install it in any of these different positions, because remember, we still have the shoulder bolt, or if you had one with a pin, that allows you to have a big range of adjustability here. And then for the top bolt, you can put it 
wherever you want here. Uh, we already know what Mary likes. She likes it in this position right here, the top bolt, but of course I could always go down and use that one or even that one so the people with really long legs would have a lot of space there. So we're going to tighten this down right there. That's going to give her floorboard an inch further out away from the exhaust, which puts out heat. And it's going to give her just a little bit more room. It's going to get her leg up off of her, her thigh, up off of that. And um, it's a three-eighths of an inch further forward. So we're going to put some thread locker on both of these and go ahead and install them. And these also get tightened down to 36 to 42 foot pounds. So we put this through and we're gonna thread it into the top here. We're going to thread this into the bottom one. And we're going to hit him with the torque. Wrench. And as simple as that, her floorboard is further out, away from the exhaust, gets her thigh up off of here. It's further out this way, it's further forward, and it's also about a half an inch higher than the highest factory position. Do it on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and mount back up on here the adjustable passenger peg that she likes to ride with. And that's it. That's how easy it is to install the FB16 on your touring bike or trike. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at dkcustomproducts.com or give us a call. You all ride safe out there.